Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we will talk about generators. Now in the earlier video we have talked about iterators, so normally we use iterators to print or to fetch one value at a time. So let's say if you have a list of values, let's say 100 values and if you want one by one value what makes sense is to use iterator. But there are small issues with iterator, right? The first one you need to create the iterator where you have to define those two functions next and iter. We don't want to do that. We want Python to do it for us. And that's where Python says, okay, if you want iterators, we will give you generators. Okay, but now you will think we have two, two different concepts. And not exactly. Generators will give you iterators. Our job is done, right? So generator give you iterator. But how exactly to create a generator? So let's do that. So what I will do is I will just jump to another file, which is gen.py. You can create your own file there. And here, let me define a function. That's right, we have to define a function, not a class this time. So let's say our function define, and we'll do the same thing. We'll return the top 10 values. So we'll say top 10, and this will return the top 10 value. And I will call this as well. So I will let, let me just say I have values, and this will be top 10. So top 10 is a function which will give you the iterator. But hold on, a function cannot give you the iterator, right? A function has to be something special. So we have to convert this function into a generator and the way to do that is normally in function we write return right so if you say return 5 so this values will be having 5 but if you instead of saying return 5 if you say yield 5 your job is done because yield is a special keyword which will make your function as a generator but now you will think what's the difference even return will give you the value even it will also give you the value what i will do is i will just go back here let me just print the value and if you run this code so you can see we got a different thing instead of getting a value 5 we got a object of generator and that's the thing you know because generator gives you an iterator so this function is not a normal function this is a generator because we are using yield yes if you say return here then you can expect it to behave normally it will return 5 but yield will be different it will also return the value but it will return in the format of a iterator and everyone knows if you want to fetch something from iterator we have to use the next function let's run this code and you can see we got five but now you will think okay that's that's fine even returns give the same output right no there's a difference in yield since it's a generator which will give you iterator you can write multiple yield statements so let's say yield one uh, let me just copy this let's do it for four times and then they will be having different values here two three and four now you can see we got four yield which is one two three four and if you run this code you will only get the first value because you are saying next only once so this is same as iterator where you are getting multiple values right so you got your own iterator without using next and iterator function let me just do that one more time I will say next. Yes, you can also say next and in bracket you can say valves. That's a choice you have. Otherwise, this will work. You can see we got one, two. In fact, we can also use a loop. So let's use a loop. I will say for i in valves. I let me print i here. The moment you do that, you can see it will print all the values for you, the remaining values, which is three and four. This is how you can create generator just by using that one particular keyword, which is yield. Okay, now there is another example we can take here. Example, let's say I want to print top 10 perfect square. You can do that. So let's create one. So what I will do is I will just remove this part, okay, because the logic will change. Everything else will remain same. Let me just not do this. Let's use a for loop to print all the values. But what should be the logic? So what I will do is I will say, I will take a variable which is i initially, or maybe n will do. n is equal to one. And now, since we want to print all the perfect square, we have to use a loop. I will not be using a for loop here because indirectly for uses iterator. Let's use while. So I will say while n less than equal to 10 because we want to fetch top 10 and every time you find a new value you have to just have to say yield you can say sq is equal to n into n that's how you find a square once you got the square you can simply say yield and you can say sq okay so we are sending the value right so it is almost same as return but then return will terminate the function this will not that's something you have to remember now once you say sq you have to say n because you have to also iterate your n right you have to say n plus is equal to 1 I guess our job is done this should work let's try so I will just re run this application 
And you can see we got top 10 perfect square. We got 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So that's how you can do it. Because this yield will give you the next next value. Because see, when you say you're running, running a loop, you're fetching one by one value. So when you fetch the first value, this yield will return one. When the loop says, hey, I want the next value, it will give you four. When the loop will say, I want the next value, it will give you nine. So that's how you create an iterator using a generator. But the question is, why someone will use a generator? Think about this. Let's say you are fetching thousand records from a database. So when you say you are fetching thousand records, maybe you want to print all, or maybe you want to process something from those records. So when you say you want to fetch thousand records, all these thousand records will be loaded in your memory. We don't want that. Maybe you want to work with one value at a time. So let's say thousand records, we want to work with one value at a time. In that case, you can use generator instead of using, instead of fetching the entire list, you can fetch one by one value. So that's something you can do with generator. Uh, that maybe you can call as a real life example. So this is how we use generator with the help of yield keyword. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.